lots of eggs today. They are loving the spring weather. So we are actually getting a build up of eggs now and ready for that on the box. Off to sell the first lot of eggs. This line and money box. Just arrived at our local farmers market and one thing we no longer have to buy is eggs and we've actually like everyone's asking what are we doing with all these eggs but we are mostly eating them ourselves but any leftovers we do have a little bit of an accumulation and any visitors that come to our place they um, put their money in the tin and Amelia's got her egg business so yeah it's really special to see these are the eggs and the cows want so they can't get dirty. Then I put the basket on top. So this morning the chookies, we're, we haven't moved them yet so they're a bit hungry but this is their new watering system so we've got the little nipple feeder things on the bottom there so they just peck at them and the water comes out. So next step of being easier to take care of our chook girls. have the chookies around the other side of the farm and the best bit is it is right next door to our bore water so this is going to be game changing not using our rainwater and I have a hose to fill up their water which is so much better so this is where the chooks were last week so you can see that quite pecked down and this is an example of what comes back after oh, one month. That's had rain on it since, but the grass loves it. So I have been asked what we give the chookies. In here, we've got a non-GMO seed, grain, and legume mix. And the importance of that is that it's not just wheat because they need the extra protein and that's where the legumes and the seeds come in. It's like an 80, 20, um, 20% protein. And Lily really, really likes grass. And I also add the quarter cup of the diatomaceous earth to every five cups of a grain like you mix that goes in the feeder and that keeps them nice and healthy. And we'll also dust them with that every couple of weeks just to keep those mites away. Okay, so this is after one day so they really like eat it down but it's not bare and this is what they'll be moving on to tonight lush fresh pasture they are gonna love it it is a really hot day today so luckily we have just happened to have the chook trailer or the chicken trailer around the right way so they are fully sheltered from this hot northerly but something that I have noticed is that they have been giving us eggs through the hot weather that we get so far, it's only spring, but they lay heaps better when we give them meat the night before. And when I say meat, just scraps from our plate, but when I make up broth, they actually eat chicken and they do really well on it and they lay more eggs. Just move them around here. 
Happy girls. And I wouldn't usually do this, but Elkie just broke an egg, like she's cracked it. So I'm going to show you what happens when I throw an egg in there. for our garden. We've not yet got the drippers on the fruit trees here so I have been watering them by hand about once a month, uh, once a week, and putting in more of the sea mungus pellets and digging that in and watering that in. behind me. If you can remember back, I wanted the calendulas down the middle and the herbs scattered. It's growing and it's evolving very slowly, I will admit, but the little, like that's a cornflower there and there's calendulas. Bunnies do keep biting off the flowers of the calendulas, so it's taken a few goes for them to flower, but it's starting. And the cucumbers are growing and strawberries behind me as well. It's just, really beautiful to watch the process and I really appreciate the seasons now and everything has something to offer so it's not just like a waiting game all the time there's there's just something that you can do step by step and then eventually you see the fruits of your labor and we're starting to slowly see that now the starchios are starting we're hoping this year we'll get some last year they didn't quite develop inside so watch this space <laughs> Actually, I think she's got some eggshell so I could get her back quite easily. It's all happening here today. My friend Sally is coming over. She's been growing pumpkin seedlings for us. She's a garden expert. We have the space though, so she's going to come over and we're going to plant out a pumpkin patch. Some of them I managed to cover with some netting to keep the rabbits away, but looks like they haven't touched them yet. And the beans that I planted here just to cover this tank, start to cover the tank, have produced. 